Peggy Cross. Hi, my name is Anna, and I'm a singer. Hi, my name is Peyton, and I'm a dancer. And today, what are we doing today? Today, we are back with a, another very exciting comeback reaction to one of the cutest groups out there, and we'll be reacting to Weekly. Yes, so Weekly is back with a new release today called Holiday Party. Obviously from the title you can tell that it's going to be a party like summer song. And leading up to this we did watch the teasers. So that being said, let's go! What a little... <laughs> da -da 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 -da. They're cute. <laughs> They're really cute. I know. Oh, it's a lot sassier though. Mm. It's like we said uh, in the last reaction after school, mm. it, they're slowly getting like older. Mm -hmm. Well, also, they're on summer break, so That's true. I guess. But I always love the editing in their music videos, like the effects. Mm. Oh, that was pretty. <gasps> the weird opening again. I kind of want to go mini golf. This makes me want to go, like, have a holiday party. I know, but we never leave the house. <laughs> Thank you for outing us like that. <laughs> um, they are so good at dancing. I noticed they haven't had, like, a prop this time. I know! Yeah. Have we, have we aged out of that? <gasps> I'm a little sad about that. Oh, but I like the background. Oh. Oh no. Too much laundry detergent. <laughs> <laughs> they're just so cute. I know I should be talking about stuff they're doing in the dance, but they're just so cute. Oh, oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh, group chat. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh. Hmm? That's like, mm. oh, credits. Okay. Yeah. yeah. They're so cute. That's it. Those are my comments. They're the cutest ever. I guess I should also probably talk a little bit about the dance. For one thing, we have left props behind in this one, which I was a little bit like, hmm. But they've replaced it with games or like allusions to games because it's a party. Like the one that stuck out to me the most was in the bridge when Sujin is singing and they're literally playing this, the, I would only call this the frying pan game. I don't know if it has another name. While they're moving back and forth and that was really cute. And then also the choreography itself, a lot of it is structured, especially in the verses, to be sort of like in groups and they're like interacting with each other in a way that makes it look like they're still playing games 
games, like they're having a party. Even if they're not playing games, it looks more like you're having a party where you're sort of like positioned around a room, that sort of thing. So I thought that was really interesting. I just want to talk a little bit more about the quality of dance and the differences you can see in this one from the last one. So it has a different feeling to it. My gut reaction was to be like, oh, it's more grounded because it is but it also isn't. It's difficult to explain. I think the reason that it feels like it's a little bit more grounded is that it does have a lot more sass in it, like I said at the very beginning, because they are using a lot more body isolations, especially hip isolations. And like we mentioned in the after school reaction, and then like Anna reminded us in this comeback reaction, we are seeing them sort of like slowly mature with each comeback. And so that makes sense that the dance feels a little bit more mature, has a little bit more attitude, a little bit more sass in it. And in order to do those sort of isolations, they are making it slightly more grounded because they have to sort of set more into their body instead of being so bouncy. But the reason I also say it's not more grounded is because it is still very bouncy. Like their dancing is still really bouncy. And that's not a bad thing. It's just that they have so much choreography that it never stops moving. Like they're constantly moving. And a lot of it is jumpy. Like they're not jumping per se, but a lot of it is jumpy like for instance the gas pedal move when Tihan is in the center like they're bouncing and then they go into the next thing but it doesn't feel like we're off the ground you know I also thought it was an interesting change though because they still do have some similar choreographic elements to past releases like the one that stuck out to me the most is the leg movement that they're doing when Monday is in the center for the chorus I would previously have called this butterfly legs but I recently learned in Korean they call it crab legs but it's when their legs are moving in and out sort of like this movement and they do that in the after school course too but it's a lot lighter whereas in this one it does feel a little bit more settled and so I just think it's really interesting that we're not just seeing their maturing in their concept through their music videos I don't know about the music I'm sure Anna will talk about it but we're also seeing it in their dance and I just really love them also they just have so much choreography in their dances it's so impressive like they're such good dancers I love them Anna's turn Oh, I also really enjoyed this. Okay, now that's all I'm going to say. Anna's <laughs> turn. Hi, so it's time for my comments now. My first comment is also, they're so cute. After watching this music video, listening to the song, it is a little bit different from what I said in the beginning where I was like, obviously, yes, summer party song. It's called Holiday Party. It is like a summer party song, but not in the way that people usually think of like super hype the entire time. Music video will probably take place at the beach or like outdoors in a field somewhere. That did not happen in this one. <laughs> I thought it was kind of funny because we were like, oh, I want to go mini golf. And I was like, oh, but we just stay inside the whole time. And Stop. I was like, no, but everything that they do, like mini golf can be indoors too. They were doing like indoor activities. And I was like, wow, is this why we love them? You can also have mini golf sets for your house. Like indoor <laughs> mini golf sets. Anyways, talking about the music again, this is like a little bit more laid back. And I think the main reason for that is like the main theme that you hear. It's the first thing you hear in the intro. It's played by this really distorted line and I couldn't find the words to describe it or like figure out what sort of instrument it's supposed to be imitating. So I described it as like a duck. So you hear that line, it's like the da 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 and then when the verse comes in the bass takes over that line and this is where my comments connect to yours because after that I wrote that it's not really heavy the bass in the way where it would like be oof and turn the song dark but it's very deep like pitch wise it's very deep but there is a sort of bounce to every bass hit instead of like a drop and then settling it's like if you're on a trampoline not jumping on a trampoline but like you know when you'll just like fall back onto a trampoline you still bounce back up a little bit but not as much as if you're jumping so it's kind of like that and then that line that theme it's not there in the pre-chorus instead during the pre-chorus the bass plays a different line and then in the chorus the theme comes back and both instruments are playing that line so it's doubled but the final note of that phrase is different for each one so it's kind of like it's harmonized speaking of harmonies though they did have pretty background harmonies I especially like this one that happens at the end of the pre-chorus it's just like a background sort of oh ooh happening it stays there after the main sung melody cuts out and it's a suspension and then that suspension resolves with the chorus drop and like the whole chorus is harmonized the melody is pretty simple for the chorus so I think that the harmonization just makes it like more interesting 
interesting to go along with a playful instrumental. Also in the chorus, there's like this cymbal sound that goes like and like other little effects happening in the background. Like throughout the whole song, there's like little different effects. At one point you hear like a bubble noise, not to mention they're like little one-liners on the side. But overall too, in what they're singing, there's like playful rhythms and syncopation. Like they'll enter, start their line on the offbeat on top of like the playfulness of like the background little details ornaments. Oh, but I wanted to talk about like, I'm a little sad whenever I saw her on screen because I know Chiyun is taking a break from activities this time she's my favorite weekly member so i hope that she rests well and gets better yeah all right so tldr for this reaction is weekly had a comeback and they are just the cutest ever yeah but we will not reduce them to that because they're also super talented and we always really enjoy their releases y'all probably have figured this out by now but they are basically no they are our favorite rookie girl group <laughs> both of our favorite rookie girl group this was no different super cute super fun sending lots of love to june lots and lots of love that being said, if you would like to talk with us more about Weekly, about this release, about K-pop, anything really, feel free to reach out to us on our socials, which are linked in the cards. And as always, if you enjoyed this reaction video, be sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on your notification bell, and bye! bye.